Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I've got a fun geometry problem. We have a circle here and a square, and the square has a side length of 2, and the bottom edge of this square is a tangent to our circle. What we want to do is work out the radius of this circle. So if you want to have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself, and I'm going to dive straight into a solution. Okay, so the solution to this problem is actually not too bad. We're just going to start by drawing the centre of our circle, and we're trying to work out the radius of this circle, so let's call it R. So there to there would be a distance of R. And obviously what we want to do is create an equation involving R, solve that equation, and then that will tell us what R is. So what we're going to do, like with a lot of these geometry problems, is try to formulate a right-angled triangle so that we can apply Pythagoras' theorem. So I know that this length here is also r, and, well, because of this uh, side length being 2, I can say that that side length there is 2 minus r. And, well, that's that length. I know that length there is r. What's this side length here? Well, it's precisely half the side length of the square, which is 1. And so, therefore, we have a right-angled triangle. That side length is 1. There's a right angle. That's 2 minus r, and that's r. So we can just use Pythagoras' theorem here. So we get 1 squared plus 2 minus r squared equals r squared, like so. And just expanding all of this, we get 1 plus 4 minus 4r plus r squared equals r squared. I can cancel the r squareds and bring the 4r onto the other side. So I get 4r equals 5, and so r is 5 over 4. Uh, and that is our solution. The radius of this circle is 5 over 4. So a nice little solution here, not involving that, uh, you know, nothing too complicated, just Pythagoras' theorem. If you'd like a bonus problem, have a think about how you would work out this area here, this shaded area. So this is an, a weird shape, it's kind of the bit that's left off. Uh, if you go to kind of imagine this square here and you cut, you cut it using this circular shape, you'd be left with this blue shaded region. How would you work out the area of that region? Uh, so leave your answers in the comments down below. Anyway, thank you for watching this quick video. If you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing and also giving this video a like. It really helps me and uh, I really appreciate that. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll catch you later. Have a great day.